Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I bring you greetings from Trinity Presbyterian Church of Ghana, London, UK. You are all welcome to this short session of stories behind the hymns. Our first hymn of reflection is a Presbyterian hymn number four. If, I would, if God would give me thousand tanks now, Seminya Tekrema Apime. This hymn of praise and thanksgiving was composed in 1704 by Reverend Johann Menza. Reverend Menza, a theologian and a minister, was born on the 27th of July, 1658, in Wotanberg, and he died on the 24th of February, 1734. Reverend Menza wrote this hymn, Seminya Tekrema Peme, to tell a story of how God delivered him from several life-threatening situations. The first stanza entreats believers of the faith to walk in God's praise and to glorify his holy name for the wondrous things he has done. Presbyterian hymn number four has 10 stanzas. Each stanza highlights how God, God's mighty right hand laid hold on Reverend Menza during his missionary tour on earth. The scriptural basis for PH4 is Psalm 145. The first six verses. I will extol you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of your glorious splendor, of your majesty. I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works and I will proclaim your great deeds. The words in PH hymn four is admonishing you and I to use our tongue to propagate the gospel, even as we praise and worship God. Seminya tekrema apime, na manonso ye apima, and kamedebe ma meneso me yi minya ye, Na medi ayem ye maka na wangwa de dai ni na ph him for. reflection is a Presbyterian hymn number 263. 
PH263, Thou Gracious Holy Spirit, Onyame Hohom Kron Kron. This powerful hymn was composed by Reverend Paul Gerhard, and it is made up of seven stanzas, all stanzas focusing on the Holy Spirit. Reverend Paul Gerhard was a German theologian and a Lutheran minister. He was born on the 12th of March, 1607, in a village near Wittenberg, and he died on the 27th of May, 1676. Reverend Paul's loyalty to his beliefs and the evidence of his trust in God reflected in the hymns he authored. Onyame Hohom Kron Kron Bra Betna Mekumemu expresses the author's deep feeling and trust for the Holy Spirit. He humbly invites the Holy Spirit to come and dwell in his heart because it is the heart that conceives and carries everything, be it good or evil. As a believer, who is the Holy Spirit to you? He is our teacher. He is our guide. He is our advocate. Does the Holy Spirit give you the sense of conviction, victory, and hope in your Christian life? As followers of Christ, we need the Holy Spirit to wash, cleanse, purify our hearts and the, and, and the indwelling of him. The scripture basis for PH263 is from Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Acts 2, 1 to 4. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all gathered together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Holy other Spirit enabled them. Amen. As we sing the words of this hymn, may we experience the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Onyame hohom kron kron Bra betna mikumemu Kaeno ena me na uome na uwu mibiyo
our last but not the least hymn of reflection is from the Presbyterian hymn 39, PH 39. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Kron, 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 onyame tum for. This hymn of praise was imported from the Methodist hymn book and was composed by Reverend Reginald Heber. Reverend Reginald Heber, an Oxford-trained poet and a hymn writer, was also a minister of the Anglican Church. He was born on the 21st of April, 1783, in England, and he died in the year 1826. The scripture basis for this hymn, PH 37, is from Revelation chapter 4, verse 8 to 11. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with all eyes, with eyes all around. Even under, the, under its wings, day and night, they never stopped saying, Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fell down, fall down before him and sit on the throne, fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever they lay their crowns before the throne and say you are worthy our Lord God to receive glory honor and power for you created all things and by your will they were created and have their being today as Christians God has given us a free gift of life. He sent his son to come and die for us. We are free. We are born again. We are part of his inheritance. What are we doing? I want to admonish all of us to join the elders and the the elders, 24 elders and the angels to worship God. Let us bow before him and say, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Kron, 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 onyame, tumfo.